Welcome back to Nitikindi Educational Platform. This presentation is on understanding quadrilaterals included under CBSE or NCRT Chapter 3 of Class 8 Mathematics Syllabus. It has been developed in such a way that it covers all the important formulas and properties in brief which will help to revise, learn easily and quickly. This chapter is quite important in both academic and personal life. Expect you can take advantage from it and learn maths in a fun and easy way. is a four-sided polygon having four angles. It includes trapezium, parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus, and kite, etc. within it. A quadrilateral has eight elements, four sides and four angles. In addition to these elements, a quadrilateral has two diagonals which play an important role in determining the size and shape of a quadrilateral. Thus, a quadrilateral has 10 elements or measurements such as 4 sides, 4 angles and 2 diagonals. Multiple real life uses of quadrilateral. The real life examples help us to understand the concepts better. Many everyday objects are quadrilateral. In electronic devices like mobiles, laptops, computers, TVs, etc. In stationary items like books, notebooks, chart papers, etc. The floor, walls, ceiling, and windows, etc. The list goes countless as we cannot imagine the world without quadrilaterals. Wherever you see four sides, quadrilaterals is involved there covers the following points with complete explanation. Understanding shapes and different types of curves. The fundamental concepts related to quadrilaterals. Different types of quadrilaterals and their properties. Different types of polygons such as convex and concave polygon, regular and irregular polygon. Some of the theorems related to quadrilaterals such as angles of property of quadrilateral, some of the measures of the extended angle of a polygon and so on. Let's discuss the important tips of this chapter. Curve. Any line may be straight or bended is a curve. Curves are formed by drawing without lifting the pen from paper. Close curves. Figures in which initial and end points coincide with each other. It has no endpoints. It completely enclosed an area. Region. The interior of a curve together with its boundary is called its region. Open curves. A curve which does not end at the same starting point or which does not cut itself is called an open curve. It has two endpoints. Simple curves. Those curves which changes direction but does not cross itself while changing direction. Non-simple curve. If a curve does not cross itself, then it is called non-simple curve. Closed figure bounded by three or more line segments such that each line segment intersects exactly two other points. Polygons are classified into two types on the basis of interior angles. Convex polygon. The polygon which has all the diagonals inside the figure is known as a convex polygon. In this case, each angle is either acute or obtuse as shown in the figures. Concave polygon. The polygon which has some of its diagonals outside the figure are known as concave polygon. In this case, any one angle is reflex and one diagonal is outside the polygon as shown in the figures. Sides. There are two types of polygons, regular polygon and irregular polygon. Regular polygon. A convex polygon is called a regular polygon if it is equiangular and equilateral. Irregular polygon. A polygon in which all sides are unequal. 
the polygons are classified according to the number of sides they have the following lists the different types of polygons based on the number of sides they have when there are three sides it is triangle when there are four sides it is quadrilateral when there are five sides it is pentagon when there are six sides it is hexagon when there are seven sides it is heptagon when there are eight sides it is octagon when there are nine sides it is nonagon when there are ten sides it is decagon when there are n sides it is ngon any line segment which connects the two non consecutive vertices of a polygon is called diagonal triangle three sides and zero diagonal quadrilateral four sides and two diagonal pentagon five sides and five diagonal hexagon six sides and nine diagonals important formulas on polygon for a regular polygon of n sides number 1 Each internal angle is equal to n minus 2 by n into 180 degree. Number two, each external angle is equal to 360 degree by n. Number three, internal angle plus external angle is equal to 180 degree. Number four, sum of all internal angle is equal to n minus 2 whole into 180 degree. Number five. Sum of all external angle is equal to 360 degree. Number six, number of diagonals of n sides is equal to n whole into n minus three by two. Quadrilaterals. On the basis of their nature of sides and their angles, quadrilaterals are as follows. Number one, parallelogram. Number two, rectangle. Number three, square. Number four, rhombus. Number five, trapezium. Number six, kite. Let us discuss their definition and properties one by one. Parallelogram. A quadrilateral with each pair of opposite sides are parallel. Properties: Opposite sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Diagonals bisect each other. Rectangle: A parallelogram with a right angle. Properties: All the properties of a parallelogram. Each of the angles is a right angle. Diagonals are equal. A rectangle with sides of equal length. Properties: All the properties of a parallelogram, rhombus, and a rectangle. A parallelogram with sides of equal length. Properties: All the properties of a parallelogram. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. A quadrilateral in which two opposite sides are parallel and other two opposite sides are non-parallel is called a trapezium. If two non-parallel sides of a trapezium are equal, then it is called an isosceles trapezium. The line segment joining the midpoint of non-parallel sides of a trapezium is called its median. A quadrilateral with exactly two pairs of equal consecutive sides. Properties: the diagonals are perpendicular to one another. One of the diagonals bisects the other. I hope this presentation on understanding quadrilaterals is not only helpful to score more marks in examination but will also help you in getting a deeper understanding of all the topics of this chapter subjects like maths science english social science and ict will become easy to study if you watch the video of this youtube channel that is nitility educational platform it is completely helpful for students and scholars appearing school college and competitive exams so stay connected for the update by subscribing the channel and pressing on all notification bell this will encourage us to prepare for the more attractive videos on education thank you happy learning